Welcome back to Cruise Blog. Have you ever wondered what happens to cruise ships after they go into retirement? Let's find out in today's video. It seems like every year there are brand new ships that are bigger and better than the last. Cruise lines are always looking to add the latest and greatest technology, which leaves older ships to be slowly phased into the background and serve specific markets. Older and smaller ships tend to attract older cruisers, as these don't have the onboard thrills and amenities that attract families and younger cruisers. Older ships can normally sail to more remote and obscure locations because of their smaller size. Companies are more likely to build large ships these days that pack on three to four times as many passengers as previous decades. Eventually, most cruise ships reach a point of retirement because they are no longer needed by the cruise company. With pressure to keep building new ships that keep up with the involving market, old cruise ships become unneeded. Older ships can also require more maintenance, which becomes costly for cruise lines to continue operating. These older ships also lack newer technology and might be less efficient overall than newer ships. Cruise ships tend to sail for one company for 10 to 20 years. During this time, a ship is continuously maintained and likely refurbished multiple times. These refurbishments send a cruise ship to a dry dock where it receives upgraded technology and amenities, along with inspecting, painting, and general cosmetic improvements. Most ships will be retired fully after 30 to 40 years of sailing the sea. Within the last years of a ship's life, it's likely to be resold or repurposed before heading to the scrapyard. Ships also can be purchased by other companies, which are rebranded and refurbished to fit the new cruise line. Ships can also be transitioned into other ocean roles. For example, Greek investors are interested in purchasing older cruise ships to be used as island ferries. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the selling and retirement of ships due to the halting of cruises for more than a year. Some ships were sent to retirement, perhaps even earlier than originally planned. Given the financial burden of the pandemic, cruise companies were looking to sell their old ships to generate profits. Moving to a smaller fleet helps the company operate more effectively as the pandemic reshaped the current cruising landscape for the foreseeable future. 2020 was a big year for the cruise lines to sell their older ships. For example, Royal Caribbean sold two of its oldest ships, the Empress of the Seas and the Majesty of the Seas. This will make room for its newer ships, including Odyssey of the Seas and Wonder of the Seas. Carnival also announced the retirement of Carnival Fantasy, Carnival Fascination, and Carnival Imagination in 2020. When cruise ships finally retire, they will most likely end up being scrapped in a ship breaking yard. It's hard to imagine these giant floating cities broken down into scraps, but that's exactly what happens. Most shipyards for dismantling cruise ships can be found in Turkey, India, and Pakistan. Before the ship is demolished, the company is able to retrieve and sell anything they want to salvage from the ship. Anything that isn't salvaged by the company is then removed from the ship and sold locally. Everything from toilets to chandeliers and chairs can be sold locally before the ship itself is scrapped. In rare cases, ships can be repurposed into tourist attractions. Although the Titanic had an unfortunate fate, other ships built during this time frame in history serve as tourist attractions now. The Queen Mary has a permanent spot in Long Beach, California. The ship has a restaurant and museum to attract tourists while it sits afloat on a permanent dock. When cruising was shut down for more than a year, people were fascinated by the concept of seeing massive ghost ships floating together in the ocean. Since ships couldn't sail during the shutdown, most were floating and anchored offshore. The sight of seeing these massive empty ships floating in the sea became an attraction off the southern coast of England in the English Channel. One company even started tours that brought tourists up close to the ships. The worst case scenario for a cruise ship's retirement is the unfortunate sinking of the vessel. The Titanic is the most famous story of a cruise ship sinking, which has captivated historians and cruise fans for years. Some ships are also purposely sunk to create artificial reefs for recreational diving. Most often, these include naval ships that are strategically placed on the ocean floor to create artificial reefs for divers to explore. Other ships have sunk and accidentally created some great diving conditions. Thanks for checking out our channel. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. As always, happy cruising!